Hey guys, this is Civil Learning Online and today we are going to start project management subject as this is the beginning of this subject. So we in this lecture we will learn about what is the meaning of uh, network activity event with sufficient example and at the end of this video I have provided an exercise for you guys so do attempt that exercise and answer is also available in the video uh, and you will you should also comment the answer uh, in the comment section and the notes of this lecture will be uh, available in the dis description section so do download the note hey guys let's begin our uh, lectures on project management subject and in order to study this subject one must have knowledge about network activity event what are these called their types and different types of networks so, and we will study about each of them uh, uh, accordingly so without any further delay let's uh, move to our definition of network and as the network definition of network says that a network is a flow diagram consisting of activities and events connected logically and sequentially so it is saying that a uh, network can be called as a flow diagram which which includes activities and events which are logically which are connected logically and in a sequence means uh, we cannot perform the second activity first and the first activity at last means we have to follow se uh, sequentially in a in an order and uh, if we discuss about a type of network so in uh, in project management there are basically two types of network and the first one is pod network which is actually event oriented and the second one is uh, CPM network which is activity oriented. Now uh, in two marks we may be asked what is the full form of pod network, what is the meaning different full form of pod which is program evaluation and review technique and the second one is CPM network and CPM stands for critical path method. We will discuss about the, how to draw these networks in the uh, upcoming videos and in order to draw that net, uh, no, those networks one must have knowledge about the meaning of activity and event. So uh, we will also to come toward the definition of activity and event but, but before that uh, we will I would like to tell you about the flow diagram. Flow diagram are basically a di types of diagram which consist of uh, activities which are to be performed in an order. Suppose we are constructing a building in while constructing a building the first thing we must do is we have to lay out the area for the uh, foundation and then after laying out the foundation area what we do we excavate the foundation uh, uh, soil which where the foundation is to be laid and after excavating what we do we do concreting means soiling and then we uh, start the construction further and it it should be done in a sequence now what are activities activities are usually operation which take time to carry out and on which resources are expended means activity are the operations means jobs in which which we which takes our which consumes our times and resources Reso in construction resources can be manpower and the different machineries which we apply uh, imply for uh, uh, constructing our uh, building that is our resources in uh, project management and this uh, and the second line says that activity is represented by an arrow as you can see i have drawn a diagram here i have drawn a diagram here suppose an act event uh, suppose a project is started from here means a start of a project can be an event and for after starting that project we have to perform different activities and after completion of that activity we uh, there will be a, an event in which there will be no requirement of any resources as the definition of event says an event indicate a point in time and does not require any resources the second thing is uh, it is a particular instant of time it is a particular instant of time at which some specific part of plan is to be achieved means in an event can be a job I took an example of construction of building event is a point of time means up to that at that point we have to finish certain job 
and uh, suppose we can see uh, and it will be more clear through than exa through examples what is activity for example layout of foundation trains means second thing is excavate the foundation after laying out what we do we excavate the foundation and then after excavation what we do we concrete the foundation base that is swelling and this and as the event says that we have completed that task see here as it says as it says foundation layout started means at a certain point of time we have started the laying out of foundation after that after laying what we have do, done foundation is already excavated we have we have to in activity what we have to do is we have to excavate the foundation but here in event if we have already we have completed excavation of foundation then it is then it is called event because at that time we do not require any resources we have already excavated a foundation then we at that time we will not require any machinery or manpower we will move toward another activity so uh, after that what we have to do is, we have to do is comp we have completed concreting now what i am going to do is i have i am going to take it, make it more clear using a sheet of paper and uh, plotting what is activity and event suppose we have we have started a project here then start of a project is event we have started a project N let this name it as one and this one represents project started project started we have started a project at a certain time uh, on certain date now after starting the project the first thing what we, we need to do is we have to excavate foundation means we for excavating foundation we will require both time and resource it will require uh, some days like uh, two days three days four days it depends upon the uh, nature of project it is activity excavate we have to excavate foundation after co completing excavation of foundation that we, it will become our event means we have completed that exca found excavation then it is our event so we will write here foundation foundation excavated now after excavating foundation what we need to do is we have to fix side boards so that after excavating foundation side soil we have suppose we are constructing a trench and we have excavated the soil from here then side soil soil lying on the side may fall inside this trench so what we need to do is we have to place a side board so we haven't placed the side board yet yet so that is our activity so what we need to do is we fix sideboard we haven't done it with yet so it is our activity fix sideboard and when we have completed fixing sideboard then it is it will be our event so we will write here side board fixed now after completing this task after fixing the sideboard we have to do move to second activity then uh, next activity that is our concrete foundation means we have to foundation the uh, concrete the foundation so it is our activity concrete concrete foundation and uh, when we have completed concreting foundation then it is our it uh, then it will become our event so foundation concreted then it becomes event and then, so as you can see here these activities are con uh, are to be performed in a sequence we cannot uh, do first fix the sideboard and then excavate the foundation we cannot first uh, concrete the foundation and then excavate the foundation it is not possible so it is moving in a sequence and it is called as flow chart or a network and uh, uh, these when we have completed a task then it does not require any resources so it is called event and when we are about to do that task and for that we will require resources main powers different types of resources main power machineries hauling ha uh, ha hauling hoisting equipments for the excavation uh, clearing the clearance of site these are the equipment material machineries which are used uh, i hope you understood the meaning of activity and events and the meaning of networks now i have a homework for you and uh, you have to uh, tell me write the answer in the comment section that uh, uh, here the question is choose events and activities from the following list you have to choose the activity events and activities from the following list and the first one is survey the site maps prepared invitations mailed print the minutes 
ऑडिट द अकाउंट फेब्रिकेट स्क्रूज ऑफिस इनागोरेटेड स्टार्ट इंटीरियर डेकोरेशन इलेक्ट्रिकल डिजाइन कंप्लीटेड असेंबल पार्ट आई एम गिविंग यू फाइव सेकेंड्स टू पॉज द वीडियो एंड राइट द आंसर एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल डिटेक्ट यू द फाइनल आंसर इन दिस वीडियो सो हेयर यू गो and i hope you have uh, marked the answer now it's my turn to dictate uh, the answer for you so the first question first job task or the job is to survey the site for surveying the site we will require both time and resources it is not completed so it is our activity second th thing is map pre maps prepared maps are already prepared so it will not require any resources neither time so it is our event second thing is invitations mailed we have already mailed the invitation we have do not need to do this task again we have already done so it is our event now the third thing is print the minutes minutes are to yet to be printed minutes are le official letters which we uh, use uh, in, in on a site so that is called minutes so we have to we are yet to print, print the minutes then it is our activity and the fifth one is audit the accounts accounts are yet to be audited so it is our activity fabricate screws screws are yet to be fabricated it is not completed yet so it is our activity next one is office inaugur inaugurated so office is yet to be uh, office i is already inaugurated so we do not need to perform it again and again it will not require any resources neither time so it is our event next is start interior decoration we have ye we are yet to start in interior decoration it is not started yet so it is our activity and the second last is electrical design completed this electrical design is completed so it is our event and the last one is assemble parts assemble parts parts are not assembled yet we have to assemble it so it is our activity i hope you understood this concept about events and activities in the next lecture we will study about uh, what is predecessor event successor event predecessor activity successor activity uh, and in that lecture we will uh, learn how to draw a network how to draw basic network and uh, i hope uh, you will share this video with your friend because it is uh, lectures i have just started about the project management and do like this video and support this channel see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself